Let's go down to Rome's. Your Minnesota Fighting Vikings are currently in year two of general manager Quasi Adolfo Mensa's reign uh, after a decade and a half plus of Prete Ricke Spielman. Uh, of course, Spielman loved trading down, loved his draft picks, uh, took some big swings, took some ba- big chances. Some panned out, some did not. Uh, but even though yeah, a lot of people at the end were all about firing Spielman, uh, he did make some good moves and he did bat above average uh, for a general manager. Now, uh, Quasi. It's taking the team in a different direction in terms of uh, going the money ball strategy uh, and, and whatnot. And the whole thing about letting Quasey cook, making a lot of changes, getting rid of a lot of Spielman guys, a lot of Spielman contracts, and there's a lot of change going on. And the whole thing about the Vikings being in a competitive rebuild, uh, I, I think – I think it does hold true. And looking at the Vikings rooster right now, so, ooh, the legend, color coding in hand. So purple uh, is guys that Quasi have brought in, has brought in either draft, free agency, or trades. Uh, green is pure Spielman guys, uh, likely on, well, yes, on their uh, current rookie deal. As well as uh, blue is Spielman guys that were re-signed or had their contracts reworked to stay with the team uh, by Quasi. So the notable ones in blue, uh, obviously Kirky Wood, Jerome, Ezekiel Cousins, uh, a free agent signing in 2018 under Spielman, uh, extended under Quasi last offseason for one year. Uh, Madison was a Spielman draft pick. CJ Ham, of course, came on board. Uh, Harrison, uh, Metellus, uh, Greg Joseph, Andrew DePaula uh, were at the end of the Spielman regime. Uh, Daniil Hunter. Third round pick, Daniil Hunter, no big deal, as well as uh, Garrett Bradbury, first round pick in 2019. Uh, Also, Spielman guys are still on their rookie deals. Uh, Justin Jefferson, no big deal. KJ uh, is good in spots. O'Neal is one of the best right tackles in the game. Christian Derrissaw uh, uh, was the first round pick, 23 overall in 2021. Ezra, a second round pick in 2020. Brandle, Troy Dye, Beasy. Uh, Wanham and Patrick Jones, right? So then the pure Quasi guys are guys like Jared Hall and Ty Chandler. Addison, first-round pick this year. Uh, Hawkinson uh, traded in division last year at the trade deadline. Josh Oliver, Dalton. Come on up for the Reisner. Ed Ingram. Hmm. Uh, and then the entire Vikings defensive line, which needs some help right now. So Phillips, uh, Tonga, Lowry, Buller, Jaqueline Roy, uh, also signing uh, guys like Marcus Davenport. But he does deserve credit for UDFAs, Ivan Pace Jr., Andre Carter II, because they could have signed anywhere as UDFAs. And then the entire uh, cornerback room uh, is all uh, Quasi dudes. So so there's some good, there's some bad uh, from both of them. Uh, there's some swings and, and there are some misses. But right now, this is a roster in transition. And uh, over the last two off seasons, Quasi has made some big time moves. But of course, Quasi is going to get a lot of flack for what's going on with his 2022 class. Now, 2023, too early to tell. Addison solid. Blackman's been really good. Jay Ward had a, a dumb penalty week one. Jaqueline needs to get going. Jaron Hall, TBD, and McBride is on the practice squad. Uh, and also, this should include Pace Jr. and Andre Carr uh, the second. So, mm. But the 2022 class, it really sucks to say that the best player from the 2022 class is the UDFA punter Ryan Wright. It's tough, man. But uh, Lewisine, a uh, comeback from that broken leg, uh, is currently uh, Harrison Smith's backup uh, and also playing on special teams. Booth Jr. can't stay healthy. Ed Ingram, even though he's played every single snap uh, that he has been eligible for over the last two years. Uh, Asuma has the shoulder thing, uh, but also he's behind Pace Jr. and uh, Jordan Hicks, who are playing phenomenal. Uh, Caleb Evans, <sighs> I believe in Caleb Evans, man, uh, and you know the future – but, I mean, he could have been a hero against the Chargers, not so much. Uh, Asazi is currently on the Jaguars practice squad. He was cut. Uh, Ty Chandler uh, can't really get the time of day as running back two, potentially running back three now with Cam Akers. Vidarian Lowe was traded to the Patriots. Uh, Jalen Naylor's on IR with a hamstring, and Nick Muse is currently on the 53. But it goes beyond that, where the Vikings, over the last couple of drafts of Spielman, Pretty, pretty thin as well. So, 2021, Derrissaw, yes, absolute stud. But remember, uh, the Vikings famously had four third round picks uh, through various trades. Kelamon didn't work out. Chad Surratt didn't work out. Currently on the Jets. Wyatt Davis, no matter what, that that one stuns me. Still, where Wyatt Davis had all the tools in the world, the Vikings had a major need at guard, and it just didn't work out. Right. Uh, Patrick Jones second. He's getting a big-time opportunity right now with Davenport out, but he's, he's not taking advantage of it. King Kenny went healthy, is the best kick returner in the game. Cam Bynum is playing phenomenal right now at safety. Janaris Jer- Robinson, I think he's on the Eagles practice one. ISM is currently on the, on the Panthers. I don't know where Davidson and Twyman are.
I'm not I'm, I'm not up on that. 2020, uh, Justin Jefferson, absolute monster, absolute stud. Uh, enough said there. Jeff Gladney, <sighs> rest in power, man. All right, so Jeff Gladney, uh, but you know, taken ahead of guys like Antoine Winfield Jr., which you know could have worked out for the Vikings. Uh, Ezra, even though they drafted him to be the left tackle of the future, left guard is where he currently is. Dancer was waived. Uh, Wanham. I mean, Wanham's got a huge opportunity as well, you know, with Davenport out, ain't taking advantage of it. Uh, James Lynch, unfortunately, tore his ACL. Troy Dye is like a decent backup linebacker and special teamer. Harrison Han, mm, KJ. I mean, KJ's a really, really good wide receiver three and obviously has the trust uh, of Kirk Cousins in crunch time. Uh, Brandle is a decent backup guard. Metellus is fantastic as a special teamer as well as uh, a bit of a joker on defense. Uh, Willikus, I, I I think Willikus had a tryout with the Lions recently. Stanley. Oh, by the way, Nate Stanley was a less good Iowa quarterback. It's funny, man. Brian Cole II, uh, no. Kyle Big Hinton, Hinton uh, ended up on the Falcons. Bradbury, mm. Irv, no. Madison, eh. Samia, I do. I do, Samia. Uh, Samia, yeah. Uh, Cam Smith, unfortunately, had that health issue. Armand for Watts ended up with the Bears, and then and I think he's on the Steelers. Marcus Epps uh, was on the practice squad, then claimed by the Eagles. Had a good run there. Signed with the Raiders. Ole Udo, unfortunately, tore his quad. Chris Boyd, solid special teamer. Uh, and getting some run at cornerback uh, with the Cardinals. Dylan Mitchell, BC Johnson, Austin Cutting. Yeah. Uh, and even, even back further. Hughes, no. I mean, you could have took Lamar, even though the, you just signed Kirk in 2018. So, yeah, we'll, we'll end here. All right, so 2018 was the, was uh, the draft after they signed Kirk Cousins, so that's the modern era for the Vikings. O'Neal, stud, huge value in the second round. Uh, Jalen Holmes, nope. Gronklin, I mean, Gronklin was good. They signed a free agent deal with the Jets. Daniel Carlson, hmm. Colby got a set, no. Uh, Ade Aruna, no. Devontae Downs, no. So, I mean, you could, I'm sure you could pick apart every single draft class. Um, but I mean, the Vikings, I mean, th they haven't had hits. I mean, like going back to 2015, I mean, Trey Waynes was fine on his rookie deal, uh, but Kendricks was a stud. Daniel Hunter's one of the best edges in the game. Stephon Diggs in the fifth round is huge value. Like the Vikings haven't had one of those classes as of late. 2016 was a, was a, a 2017, Mm, meh, meh, meh. Uh, and a, you know, a lot of that is on Spielman. I mean, p a part of that is on the scouting department, which is still largely intact uh, from the Spielman years. And, you know, Quasey, I understand that Quasey does get a lot of uh, flack, and rightfully so, for the 2022 class, even though I still think it's a little bit too early on guys uh, like Seen and uh, Osama and Evans. Uh, but, I mean,. You know, the Vikings may have a depth issue. They may have a, a, a quality issue in some spots, and that is directly correlated to what, what has gone on in the last couple of drafts because you know, outside of a couple of huge gems like J.J. and Derisaw, I mean, there, there leaves a lot to be desired. And it's understandable uh, why the Vikings went in a different direction from the Spielman year. And if Quasey, I mean, I mean, 2023 is looking good with Addison and Blackman. Uh, I think Jaqueline, once he gets in, will be a solid. Uh, but we need more out of the 2022 class as well. And I, I don't think that the the Wilfs and ownership would make rash decisions uh, after two years. But after three, could be. Could be. So e either way, um, you know, the Vikings depth issue, the Vikings uh, caliber of a player issue outside of a few studs can be directly correlated to the Spielman drafts and early returns from the Quasi draft from 2022. Yeah. Uh, anyways, that's it. Uh, take a look at the Vikings roster. Uh, Quasi versus Spielman. Who's to blame? Hmm. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.